finally here. The official guide to our favorite surveillance legend, Crypto. How's it going guys? My name is Valued and today we're gonna to be breaking down everything you need to know about Crypto. But before I get carried away talking about them, let's get right into the good stuff. All right, guys, first off, we got to have a chat about the ins and outs of Crypto's abilities. We'll get into some more advanced methods for finding success with them. But with this legend in particular, there's a lot of base knowledge that's going to help you find success quicker. Crypto has a ton of passives that aren't obvious to anyone besides Crypto mains. And having a complete understanding of how all Crypto's abilities interact with each other and how they interact with enemies is going to give you a huge boost in your early success on the legend. While this is especially true for Crypto's kit, having a deep understanding of Apex Legends as a whole is going to help you find success in everything you do, be it learning a new legend or trying to get that next rank. Don't forget about all the other great content we have right here on the channel for helping you improve. But if you're looking to take your game even one step further, then make sure to head over to ProGuides.com and link up with one of the many professional coaches. From helping you get better at movement to helping you apply what we talk about today, they have all the knowledge to help you level up your game. The link will be in the description. Make sure to check it out, guys. At the foundation of Crypto's kit is his tactical ability, which allows him to deploy his surveillance drone. This drone is what enables all other aspects of Crypto's kit, and mastering its use will be the key to cracking Crypto's code. Without the use of his tactical, Crypto's unable to utilize either his passive or his ultimate. It takes him around two seconds to gain control of his drone, and another two seconds to manually recall the drone. While the recall can be done during any other action, initiating the pilot screen has an animation time that prevents you from using weapons or nades. If the drone goes outside 240 meters from Crypto, it will automatically recall, and the drone has 60 health that only regens while it's recalled. His Neuralink passive ability causes his drone to highlight enemies, doors, loot crates, and traps within 30 meters for himself and his teammates. This requires the drone to maintain line of sight to keep these things highlighted, but so long as they're in line of sight of the drone, it's essentially a permanent Bloodhound queue that works on doors and loot crates. And just like the Bloodhound queue, enemies who are being scanned by your drone will have a notification that they're being revealed. Crypto's drone is also able to interact with these doors and loot crates, and you can manually ping anything you find. While you can't pick up loot as the drone and won't often find yourself needing to open doors, these are nice quality of life perks that can have their place in niche situations. Additionally, Crypto can also use this bad boy to scan survey beacons, recover banners, and use respawn beacons, allowing Crypto to respawn his squad without having to put himself in harm's way. The drone also doesn't take any damage from the storm or zone, so you can go deep for your teammates' banners, making Crypto one of the best legends for reviving your teammates if they die. And lastly, for the really notable passives, he can use his drone to look at any of the banners throughout the map. You know where it normally shows the kill leader? Well, it'll also tell him if there's enemies within 200 meters of Crypto himself. He can also ping this and relay the information to his team. This is a great little trick that can help you ensure you don't have an enemy squad lurking nearby, and you can even leave your drone near one of those banners if you're staying in the area, and keep checking to see if squads are coming close to you. Crypto's ultimate allows for his drone to discharge an EMP, dealing up to 50 shield damage to all enemies in its radius, destroying all traps and throwables, and slowing all players in the blast. This blast will hit enemies through walls and has the same radius as his Neuralink passive, so if you can see them highlighted by your drone, they're in range of the blast. This is by far Crypto's strongest ability, and when coordinated well with his team, can be one of the strongest abilities in the game. Guys, that was a lot of info, right? Well, that's not even everything Crypto and his robot companion can do, but we can't spend all video talking about every single interaction. While there are a couple other crucial interactions we're gonna touch on in a bit, let's get into some of the methods for finding success on this legend. The number one skill ceiling when using Crypto is understanding when you should be moving his drone and where you should be moving it to. This sounds so simple on the surface, but oh man, is it complicated. Apex is a game that already has a million things going on at once, so to add on micromanaging a drone while staying in safe positions is incredibly difficult, and it sort of requires its own way of thinking to pull it off. Even with this added dimension to the game, good cryptos manage to cycle in and out of controlling their drone, always looking for forward positioning as much as possible. And the closer you are to the action when doing this, the more vulnerable to getting jumped on you are. Even though you're pulled out of your drone upon taking damage to your character, if someone finds you while having your face in a tablet, there's a good chance they're getting a knock on you or forcing you to run and heal. 
When you take into account the animation time to start and stop controlling your drone, and the time you're actually piloting your drone, Crypto is vulnerable for rather long periods of time whenever he uses it, even if it's just for a quick peek in the drone. This extra time to use your key ability has to be factored into your decision making and positioning at all stages of the game, and it really requires a lot of training and reps to pull off naturally. Alright guys, the best crypto players get good at fluidly moving their drone around, even while in fights, to constantly give their squad information on the enemy team and to have the drone in EMP range should the time come. The way they do this is by adjusting their play, focusing on their drone placement first and getting really fast at it so their downtime is limited. Finding the balance between having good drone placement and always being ready for a fight can be really hard, but the general rule of thumb is that your drone position doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure you're ready for the fight when it gets to you. While it's nice to get that high angle on the squad pushing your team so you can keep them scanned through the fight, if you take too long getting just the right spot, you and your squad could be put in a losing position. Limiting the amount of time you're in your drone is crucial to finding success on crypto, as far too often cryptos find themselves stuck in their drone trying to find the perfect position while their teammates are losing gunfights. You cannot neglect your duties to hit bullets like you do on every other character, but it's easy to do just that in early stages of learning the legend as his abilities can be very overwhelming. A couple ways you can help with this downtime early on is to get used to starting the drone pilot animation ahead of time as you're moving into your cover. It takes a couple seconds for you to enter your drone when you activate it, and during this time you can still move freely. Popping this as you're moving into your cover and getting used to not wasting that couple extra seconds will have you in and out of your drone much more smoothly. You should also be mindful of recalling your drone if it's getting too far from you. As you're moving around the map, make sure you're constantly recalling your drone if you don't have it perched somewhere for a specific reason. The distance on the drone is really far, and if you get caught in a situation where you want to use it but have to recall it first, you lose those valuable seconds. And while the recall can be used during any other action, actually having to wait for the recall and then deploying your drone adds a lot of time onto the process and could cost you in the long run. So guys, get in the habit of keeping the drone close by, constantly recalling and redeploying it as you navigate the map. What really unlocks Crypto's power is when you can consistently find good EMP targets. It's easy to see this ability as a defensive tool because if you're always keeping the drone nearby, you can use it to stop pushes, right? Well, while this is true and a very strong use of the EMP, this ability can be used in literally any scenario. The only requirement is good drone positioning. This is the ultimate defensive and offensive tool, having a crazy amount of flexibility so long as your drone is in position to hit enemies with your EMP. It's a tough way to train yourself to play the game, but if you're always leading with your drone and constantly managing its position in fights, you're going to always find yourself having a lot of great EMP targets. Having an aggressive mindset about how you use your EMP if you find a squad nearby will keep them from catching you off guard. With Crypto's large setup, it's better if he's on the offensive, getting to make decisions first rather than reacting to what the enemy throws at him. Since you can use your EMP without piloting your drone, it's a good idea to get your drone into position and start pushing its location as your EMP is winding up to go off. Be sure to stay out of the range though, as it's going to deal a lot of damage to you and slow your entire squad. But being right outside of its blast, ready to clean up the disoriented and damaged squad is the best way to use this powerful move. While EMP is incredible as an engagement tool for your team, don't be afraid to use it throughout a match. Even if you aren't in a great spot to follow up on the damage, it's a great way to farm your red evo shield in the mid game and can be used to clear out any traps left behind by enemies. There's nothing wrong with popping your EMP to clear out Watson fences or caustic traps, especially if you're able to hang on to an ultimate accelerant or two. Crypto's playstyle is all about supporting his teammates and in the right hands he does this so well that he can hard carry a squad as a support. He is the purest recon character in the game, rewarding patient play in the form of information for his team. While you want to get aggressive with your drone placement and get really good at hitting those powerful EMPs, it's important to remember your role while playing this legend. You don't want to be running an R99 in a flatline trying to lead your team into fights as the front gunman. Your job is to gather info with your drone, pinging out anything of interest to your squad. You then use this information to get the jump on enemy teams, or prevent this from happening to you, with EMP being a powerful tool for both of these objectives. I find it best to use one long range weapon, whether it's an AR with a 3x or a sniper of your preference, with a strong close range option as well. The long range weapon is going to allow you to support your team from a distance, keeping you in a safe position to manipulate your drone if you need to and the short range weapon, preferably a shotgun or SMG, is going to help keep you alive should you get pushed or find yourself out of position while trying to use your drone. 
All right, guys, there's so much more to crypto that we could talk about, but this should get you well on your way to mastering the legend. He's the strongest recon character in the right hands and packs more of a punch than many of the offensive options. I know if you take the time to practice and master even a fraction of what we talked about today, you will see the crazy potential locked away in crypto's kit. And if you're already a crypto main, let us know a tip or technique that we didn't get to today. And if you aren't, I'd love to hear why you haven't picked up crypto in the comments below. Anyway, guys, it's been valued and I want to see more cryptos in my games. So get out there and start practicing. And anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.